In this case study, we're going to be examining one of my favorite animators of all time, Shinya Ohira. Ohira-san got his start in the anime industry as a teenager. He was devoted to capturing authentic motion in his characters and as he mastered this, he quickly evolved to have a signature animation style which can be recognized today in any production he is part of. Bahi JD, another influential Sakuga animator, says this about Shinya Ohira. Ohira-san has a very original style. His animation is both realistic, dynamic and abstract. Here are some lessons I can learn from Ohira's work and perhaps you can too. Number one, he doesn't cut corners. Few people draw like Ohira because it is very hard to do. His drawings often feature a massive amount of detail. Some frames only stay on the screen for 1 24th of a second and yet they maintain the same level of detail. Not only are the drawings detailed, but so is the animation. Each component of the body has an ever-changing trajectory and mass, and that requires thousands of calculations. Unfortunately, this approach does not fit with most anime productions, so apparently this has got him fired in the past and has made him quite difficult to work with. Number two, he takes his time drawing frames. Even a small line will require massive amounts of calculations, taking into account physics, perspective, exaggeration, character, style, and one of my favorite techniques, moving about the mass of a character or object in a method I call shifting. Number three, every frame is a great drawing. Pause his animation and you'll see a unique expression of what the character is feeling. Number four, I learned from Ohira to throw the rule book out of the window if it's holding you back from what you want to get across to the audience. He has an intimate knowledge of what he's drawing, so he doesn't just draw what he sees, he embellishes it. He draws out certain features and he ignores other features, and this is what creates his signature style that can be recognized. I find that the main advantage to this style is how expressive it is. It really gets across what he wants you to see in the animation. Just gonna try a little bit of uh analysis, frame by frame analysis of this piece from Animatrix Kids Story. From the storyboard point of view, the angle is amazing. It's on a Dutch tilt. We've got these leading lines, like coming here and here, they're everywhere in the frame, and they're all leading towards this point. And you can see that the doorway looks pretty small, and you're just thinking, how on earth is he gonna fit through that? And this is all kind of subconscious. Your camera being close to the ground, you feel small and you feel like everything is huge and so everything's a big deal that's going on. Looks off balance and very precarious because this is a scene where, where there's loads of tension and it's dangerous. This lovely bounce first with the skateboard um, where the skateboard has like a life of its own. The wheels are like t spinning. You can see that the streaks on the wheels, but mainly if you look at his body here in the close-ups, there are these very unique streaks you can see through him at times there's like little holes in him and here as well that they're, they're not being continued over multiple frames these uh streaks and these blurs and things so, so this seems to be an effect that he uses when the character is moving very fast and very close to the camera and then as he goes away from the camera the character is a little bit more solidified I really like the perspective of this as well and how much character there is in these poses. So the overall movement that he's doing, as you can see, he's swerving about. So he's gone from right of the frame to left of the frame and then he's gonna go and he's gonna swerve past them. Gesture right there with his arm out and it's kind of curved back and he's just... あの、通常のあの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
Another thing I've noticed him do is he surrounds himself with other excellent artists. Notice here how Hiroyuki Okiura precedes Ohira's animation part with a beautifully executed walk cycle shot with stunning cinematography. There's a tendency for great artists to sometimes distance themselves from other great artists because they don't like to be compared to and they want to stand out, which is also understandable. But master anime artists understand that the quality of the film is what's most important and not their own credit within the film. This could also be why it's often so difficult to identify animators in an anime production. They all blend with one another unless there is a courageous animation producer who allows his animator's own art styles to flourish in the piece. Number 6. He has massive confidence in his animation abilities in the scene. There's no way that someone who is shy and insecure could make such a bodacious piece of animation like this. He trusts his instincts on any scene he takes part in. It takes guts in commercial animation to commit to animating in a style that not everyone may like. It's actually kind of crazy that Ohira's work is featured in any popular anime. Apparently his animation style does not go down well with the majority of anime viewers and that might be an explanation for why styles like his are so rare in Japan. Number 7. He taught me to have fun in a scene. His work in FLCL is a good example of this because he had fun animating it and because of that we had fun watching it. Number 8. Learn the principles and never stop evolving. From years of experimentation, Ohira has made a style which is abstract but is also grounded in a core realistic observation. He observes first and then he draws on what he discovers. If he had stopped evolving back when he was creating his first short films, then he would never reach the style he has today. Okay guys, that's it for this lesson. Let me know what you thought of this kind of video type. If it does well, I might be persuaded to make a series on it covering loads of different animators, but we'll see how it goes. As always, check out animatorguild.com. We've got a forum, we've got an online store and lots of free downloads when you sign on. And I'll see you next week. Goodbye. There's loads of people here, but you, you just see them as some people. You don't see, oh, it's there's that guy and then that guy and there's that guy and there's that guy. They're just, you see them as like, they're people. These are people. This is the guy.